We just loaded up the mattresses. <laughs> uh, Debbie. Hey. And I. In the van. And uh, got it in the van. Just the two of us. In the past few years, we've all seen countless examples of women trying to scale the Great Wall of Hypergamy, only to suffer the same fate as Icarus. Daedalus, Icarus's father, warned him if he tried to fly too close to the sun, his wings would melt and he would plunge face first to his demise. The modern trend of leveling up is causing us to see bodies fall from the sky, in some cases literally. If you ask Lord Destro who was his top pick to do the impossible and scale the ever daunting wall of hypergamy, I assure you, Stacey Dash would have been in my top five. Fast forward 2022, we see a 55 year old Stacey Dash moving into a one bedroom apartment with some old beat up mattresses. What a fall from grace. As we can all see, the wall is more savage than a North Korean prison. <laughs> A single mother with a list of trauma and possible mental issues, yet she had a face that only could be forged by the hand of God. Known for her sexy baritone voice and hazel eyes, she was definitely the pick of the 90s 2000 litter. From Clueless to Kanye West videos, Dash was just that girl. And yes, Lord Destro would have slapped Mother Teresa and Michelle Obama in one swipe for 40 minutes in her brown tenderloins. <laughs> But her weakness was the beautiful tune from Hypergamy's flute. Let's get something clear. Stacy Dash went through four husbands. Not one or two, four. In every one of these divorces, she claimed that she was verbally and physically abused. In her mind, she always thought that she deserved better. Unlike most of these modern women who spend their prime years with Pookie and Ray Ray and then want to upgrade to the so-called high-value man, most of Dash's husbands were already in that top 5%, yet it still, it still, still wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Wasn't enough. Ready for this? Because she was so attractive, these men ignored the fact that she was a single mother and was a debutante in the 2000s equivalent of OnlyFans, Playboy magazine. If a woman like Stacey Dash could not upgrade, why do women like Lala Vasquez, Angela Jolene, or Dr. Dre's wife think that they have a chance? I mean, seriously. <laughs> If you were making Carmelo Anthony money, how many of you would take on Lala and her son? But they're not ready for that discussion, are they? <laughs> Wait a minute. You didn't push the like and subscribe button. Blasphemy. 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 And although you will never be worthy of a monarch such as myself, Lord Destro would suggest that you poor fools at least give oligarchy a try. So handsome, Lord Destro has spoke. What's your name, gangster? Lord Destro. Who are you representing? Cobra, la 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 la. Blasphemy. Enough said. Enough said. Yes. Like or die. Subscribe quick.